we are the Sydney Youth of Denver, like you already introduced. Um, we are comprised of 11 congregations from northern Colorado to southern Colorado. Um, there's ages or grades from 7th grade through 12th grade, all high school kids, and this is our director of the goal. We'll start with Sweet Harmony. <coughs>
kids that are here up to sixth grade, can you come help us sing a song? If you are up to the sixth grade, if you are just born right now, up to the sixth grade, come help us sing a song. If you want to hold your kid, bring him up here.
and I got a text from my mom saying I left my Bible on my bed. So, I don't have the scriptures that I normally would want to have, and I don't have all that written down, so I do apologize for that. But this year, the, actually it was me, AJ, and Ben came up with the theme with Austin's consent. But we were at the uh, retreat, and we got th together, and we started talking, we started talking about the different themes that we wanted to have. The first one was on wings like eagles, which is an ama amazing idea, an amazing theme. Because we all have those points in our lives where it's so easy to do good. God literally picks you up and pretty much carries you through the hard times. And it's, it's amazing. And then another one of our ideas was the road. Because we all go through challenges. It's all, it's all a path. We're always trying to get somewhere. Every time you get to where you're wanting to go, there's another place to go. So that was another one of our ideas. And then the last one, surprising, it's a song. It's uh, still, and it's a really powerful song when you think of it. To be still and know that you are God. To be still and know. In our lives, everything is so uncertain. Like, every day we get up, and this year I had to file taxes, which is not fun, especially when you see how much you have to give. And it, it hurt me a little bit to see that. But every day there's always something. There's always something more. There's always a test you have to worry about. The ACTs or something, there's always going to be another thing. But to know one thing, for certain, without a doubt, to know that you are God, to know that He is God, just to know that is an amazing idea. The song is it, so, it's such a funny concept, to be a still, just because it's a whole song. So there's a lot of different parts to it. But that's the one that I've me in the last few days. I was sitting in um, my teen class today, I was listening to our elder, he was the one teaching it today. He was talking about how Jesus is the cornerstone. And when I think about that, it's an amazing thing, a cornerstone, something so simple, something that most of the time, when a builder puts it there, you forget about it. It stays there. It doesn't do anything else. But without that cornerstone, your whole building's off-center. It's not plumb. It's kind of a, an amazing thing to think about, how one thing, such as still, just to be still and to know is literally the cornerstone of our, of our faith and our spiritual life. Just to know that He is God. To know that Jesus came to earth and died for us. And that's something we always forget. He didn't die for the churches of Christ. He died for each one of us. He died for me, Brian, and Fisk. Individually. And when He was on that cross dying, He thought of me. And sometimes we forget this. And I think it's important that we remember that we don't have a God that is unpersonal. We don't have a God that stays out there in the middle of nowhere looking down at us. We don't have that God. We have a God that's with us every day. He walks with us. He's in our hearts and He's with us. So, I have really good scriptures for this, but I'm sorry I left them at home. <laughs> so, I guess this is my devo and I apologize again. So, thank you.
Oh, 
Dear God, we just thank you so much for all that you give us. We acknowledge you to be the almighty living God. And we know we walk and breathe because you've allowed us to do that. But you've also allowed us to come near to you to call you our Father, to call you our Father. And God, we thank you for all that you give us. Thank you for these young people and their voices as they sing. Thank you for their moms and their dads and their grandparents. I thank you for those who have given so much, uh, sacrificed so much that for this group. Thank you. Thank you for Rory and uh, his leadership and our prayer group. Uh, I pray, God, that uh, you will open doors of opportunity for all of us wherever we go. That there will always be a song in our heart that will spur us on. That that song will remain when there are tough times and we just don't see that there's any way through. And God, help us to know that uh, you will see us through and that we can have comfort in that. Thank you for your son, Jesus. And we ask you, God, to help us to be inspired and to live better for you tomorrow than what we have today and to leave this place with a smile on our face and a song in our heart and be recommitted to serving you more as we leave here. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. You're dismissed.